hey everybody it's Scott Omato in this video I'm going to show you how to play the latest Minecraft snapshots and also some things to watch out for when you do so okay so really the official Mojang launcher is the preferred place to play the latest snapshots because they add added this nice feature where you can actually see the uh patch notes and all that right linked inside of it so you click that and you can read about all the changes and it updates without having to browse uh online on the uh, minecraft or mojang site so that's a super nice feature and it really makes it useful uh, also gives you access to the bug report section and stuff like that you can see the latest issues that have been fixed links to those and the issue tracker where you can report bugs all right and then there's a feedback website where you can let people know or you've got a link to the discord so it's pretty nicely integrated for playing snapshots all right um so what you want to do is you want to go to the installations tab here at the top and of course i'm in the minecraft java edition that's what we're talking about in this video but you want to enable the snapshots checkbox here and it'll say run a snapshot in a separate game directory to avoid corrupting your worlds. Now that's general good practice when you're running uh, different versions of Minecraft to have separate game directories, but it's very important in snapshots to not reopen worlds that you may want to open in another uh, save or something like that and like I said it's general good practice but we'll go over what they mean by that all right so when you click that button you're going to get this latest snapshot uh, installation here all right and it'll let you just by clicking play click the latest snapshot but you want to go through and set your game directory all right so hit this three dots icon right here and choose edit and then go and select a location with browse now I have a location in my documents folder um, that I have for Mojang launcher profiles and I use that and so you could if you have a similar folder just select it choose make new folder and I just name it latest snapshot so it, this will continually update uh, this profile with the latest snapshot it'll give you the newest snapshot and in a general sense you probably don't want to roll back snapshots uh you know you there's no reason you'll necessarily unless there's some game breaking uh you know change but in that case you know you shouldn't be playing long term long term worlds on snapshots or your only copy of that long term world so once you've set that go ahead and choose save and then that that directory will be located out on your disk here where you set it to be okay so mine's in my mojang launcher profiles latest snapshot all right so now when you hit play it will download that newest snapshot if it hasn't already and basically do all the installation i'll move it to the top of the list uh do the installation for it and then launch it okay uh, it takes just a moment depending upon your internet connections and stuff like that it looks like it's it's a slower process than uh, usual at least right now so it'll download it again it's going to still create a regular versions folder and stuff like it always does in your um, mojang in the main minecraft directory dot minecraft but all of the saves and resource packs and all that kind of stuff will be out on that folder in the disk that you in installed keeping it as a separate profile all right so you know again i will just look at it real quick so if i go out here i have pretty much all the modded versions that i run this way so if i look at the latest snapshot folder it's creating logs it's creating resource packs it's it'll create saves uh, and they're all separate from your main minecraft directory which is what you want so you'll see that you know there's a the snapshot version in here and then you'll be able to create a new world and all that and then again that world will be located back in that folder that you de designated completely isolated and safe from your other ones now if you don't wish to see that anymore then you can turn that off so that's generally how to play the latest one now if you create a new profile and you have that snapshots enabled your version list is going to be a lot longer all right there's going to be a lot more minecraft versions listed so you may want to toggle that on and off when you're creating uh new 
instances because of that long list of snapshots all right and that's the same thing with historical it adds a whole bunch of stuff to the list and now they have the ability to separate modded profiles on and off and that would be your forge installations fabric installations stuff like that anyway i want to keep those rather short but hopefully that'll help you to check out the latest minecraft features uh, with the snapshot and if you get confused your snapshots is missing then be sure that button that uh, checkbox is checked and you'll be able to see them as i said this is a nice feature in this launcher to be able to continually play the latest snapshot that will update accordingly when they redo new releases and then the patch notes feature is super nice to be able to see so i generally leave the snapshots on all the time the, the checkbox there for the patch notes so i can keep up with what they're they're patching anyway Hopefully that's helpful to you. If so, please leave a like. Consider subscribing to the channel for more Minecraft stuff. This is Scott Omato. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I so much appreciate it. Have a great day. Bye-bye.